Hi, after a really long time, I finished reading a book, um, Verity by Colin Hoover, and I decided to break my reading slump with a psychological thriller. Uh, that's how it describes itself. And uh, perhaps it is that, um, yeah, I don't know, a lot of these books now come with a whole uh, run of epithets. Uh, that it is the best in the genre and and all these things i did not think so uh, th- i mean there are a few uh, uh, there are a few places where uh, it gets atmospheric and mysterious and uh, thrilling but overall i am not so sure if uh, this is a great book so um, this is the first I have read of this author. I understand that uh, she's written a number of very, very successful books before uh, this, um, especially a book called It Ends With Us. And uh, the back uh, jacket at least says that it, that this particular book or this author was a TikTok sensation or something like that. But um, OK, so now just to get to the plot, there is a writer who is um, uh, who is on the verge of uh, losing her apartment, um, going bankrupt, and things like that? Her mother has just passed away uh, because of cancer, and um, she gets a writing gig to finish the novels of a very very popular writer who was um, uh, who has met with an accident. So this new writer, this young writer, she goes to this older, more famous writer's house. And she has to stay there for research. Um, And the house, the story as to how that other writer got into an accident, then um, what has happened to that family? What kind of tragedies have happened to that family over and over and over again? Uh, That basically is the premise of this book. Now, personally, uh, you know, uh, when she drives into this particular house, it is very reminiscent of the description that one has read in Rebecca. Then uh, in Rebecca there was the older maid, in here there is someone like the nurse. Then, uh, so I don't know, it just felt very echoey, uh, this, this novel. The twist at the end is, I mean, I, I won't say that I saw it coming, but perhaps i was not as invested in the characters to really care how it ended actually that's a little severe i did care how it ended because i i read the book it it, it in that sense it, it is a good book it it uh, did not um it held my attention although i did feel that there were a lot of these long unnecessary descriptions of intimate love making which I didn't understand why they were so uh, integral to the plot. I mean, so many long passages. One or two is fine, but I, I didn't understand that. But, uh, so I did think that this book could have done with a little harsher editing if it had been shaved off uh, of 50 or so pages. I think it would have been better. Um, but otherwise it's an okay read for someone like me if you've uh, been in a reading slump and you've not been able to finish a book for a while and you've picked up some really really good books but not been able to finish them this i think is a good book to uh, to break that plateau although uh, you know i mean books like this it's not like it'll stay with me or something but i have been thinking about the title verity i think comes or its etymology um, is truth and when a writer writes something even if it is fiction there is a grain of that fiction that is remarkably true in fact it is more true than even the truth so what a writer writes and what a writer creates and then who that writer becomes Perhaps that continuum is a very interesting thought explored in this work. But over and above that, not great. Okay, okay, good book, but not great. Well, thank you.